from paper-stamping bureaucracy sims to epoch-defining shooters, here are 10 great PC games you can play on any PC. Is your PC beginning to show its age? Does reading the recommended minimum specs of the most AAA titles shred your soul? Or is your GPU closer in power to a pocket calculator than a GTX 1080 Ti? Fear not, you and your increasingly rickety rig can still enjoy a wealth of awesome PC games. From remastered classics and ageing FPS greats to undemanding, horrifically addictive card collectors, the following list of PC hits can all be enjoyed on relatively humble PC setups, even if you have limited RAM or a low-tier graphics card. And if you want to know the specs required for any of these creaky old classics, we've included all the details in the description. So if you've got more chance of winning the lottery than running Battlefield 5 and its fancy pants ray casting tech at 4K, here in no particular order are 10 of the best games you can enjoy on an older PC. Agent 47 may go homicidally hard on his victims, but when it comes to running on modest PCs, the sociopathic slaphead is a soft touch. Hitman Blood Money is well over a decade old, and more or less any PC from the last five years should be able to run this murderous selection of mini sandboxes with ease. Even though the baldy brute is getting on in years, the criminal cult hit remains as chillingly compelling as ever. Rig a barbecue to char grill a mob boss's wife, go on a killing clown spree, silence Big Bird's crooked cousins for good, blow up a redneck groom at his wedding, then feed the father-in-law to a hungry gator. The wicked wet work possibilities are endless. You don't need a killer CPU or graphics card to squeeze an Oscar-worthy extra murdery performance from Agent 47. Considering Gordon's pioneering FPS helped launch Steam back in 2004, your PC would need to be downright prehistoric to struggle with Half-Life 2. Low-end rigs should have no problem running Valve's sci-fi shooter, with the Source engine providing the gentlest of GPU workouts. City 17 remains a gloriously realised setting, even on the game's lowest graphics preset. Crummy textures can't dilute the exhilarating pleasures of water hazard, and no amount of pop-in could ruin the joys of turning zombies into undead mincemeat in Goggy's scout car. Whether you're teaming with a merciless robot mutt, inspiring a rebellion, or saving Dr Vance and his low-res beard from a Matrix-style pod, Half-Life 2 remains a belting blaster. It may not have the fancy ambient occlusion or ray tracing of modern shooters, but Freeman's fab FPS still boasts some of the best pacing of any game. Let's just say your hour has come again. Your rig doesn't need the all-conquering power of a paladin to run Hearthstone. Blizzard's fiendishly addictive card collector is unlikely to make even older GPUs sweat, and the eSports sensation's brief animations and untaxing art can be run on increasingly arthritic PCs. Let this Warcraft spin-off get its hooks into you, and you can consider your free time torpedoed. Whether you're just starting out by cutting your teeth against AI opponents, or accidentally healing online foes, Hearthstone's card battling action is electric. Ram your rival's defences with an unruly warhog, block attacks with a stubborn ape, watch a raptor and elven archer tag team your opponent. It doesn't matter if you're winning or being wiped out. Hearthstone will thrill you and your middle-aged rig. Thanks to some stellar asset work from developer Visceral's part, Isaac's slice of space horror looks surprisingly presentable at low settings. Cannily lit environments and impressive character models means that Dead Space 2 shines even when you drop to lower presets to accommodate an ageing rig. While modern scare ups like Resident Evil 7 can cripple mid-range GPUs, an elder spookster statesman like Dead Space 2 is far less taxing on your PC. Isaac's brand of gruesome alien butchery and intergalactic jump scares really hold up. From throwing cots at exploding baby monstrosities in a nightmare nursery, enduring the gym class from hell, or suffering brain-breaking hallucinations in front of a clapped-out rocket ride, Dead Space 2 is a terrifying treat. So dust off that old PC and show those modern setups you and your rig can still rock it to the terrifying stars. <coughs> the fact that the install file for Political Puzzler Papers Please weighs in at a measly 41 megabytes sets the tone for a game that would struggle to make a toaster sweat, let alone an ageing low-end PC.
With no tweakable visual settings and a charmingly crude art style, much of the appeal of Papers, Please lies in its humble nature. This is a game of small acts of kindness and cruelty, where you either choose to go against the system or let bureaucracy and bills grind you down. As an immigration inspector working at the border checkpoint for the fictional Artsorska, it's equally easy to be either a soulless pencil pusher or rule-breaking sweetheart. Take bribes from good time gals, be a black-hearted swine and stop a mother reuniting with her child just because her pass expired two days ago. Give a big fat phony all the stamps of approval for his adorable fake passport. Bureaucracy has never been so brilliant. It's lucky that beauty is only skin deep, because on the surface, Davy Readon's exquisite interactive storyteller is as ugly as they come. A compelling tale of a friendship forged through half-finished thoughts, the beginner's guide's outer ugliness at least means it's quite easy to run on older PCs. Whether the mysterious, potentially fictional coda exists or not, Reedon is obsessed with the programmer's bite-sized, unfinished game concepts. Being whisked away in these fleeting, all-too-disposable worlds as Reedon's tender narration guides you like an odd tourist is a thrill. Bemuse yourself with a backward simulator, get locked in a furniture prison, watch Coda outdo Escher with his endless corridor labyrinth question the purpose of the Comments Cave. Lo-fi, lovable and utterly intriguing, The Beginner's Guide overcomes its performance stutters with a story that has more heart than every Call of Duty combined. And filled with little ideas for games. Shove Metal Slug and Steamboat Willie into a blender and you'd either get loads of little diced up cartoon mouse parts or this sensational run and gun adventure. Cuphead's old timey animation may be a lovely striking nod to the origins of the House of Mouse, but this unforgiving mix of titanium hard platforming and brutal bosses can easily be run on an older PC. Owing to the game's pre-rendered art direction, there are no graphics options to tweak, and you can happily lower Cuphead's resolution without noticing any real drop in clarity. It's an utterly riveting game, albeit one that will hurt you a lot. Death comes from all directions. From the air, from vegetable patches, from creepy carnival rides run by demented clowns. From a killer candy land, from fancy galas where a tag team of boxing frogs dish out beatings. Get ready for delightful crockery carnage. Who knew Gandhi could be so aggressive? If you've been harbouring fantasies about conquering the globe as a virtual Genghis Khan and his unstoppable Mongol forces, Sid Meier's classic is the RTS for you. Civ 5's chunky, uncomplicated assets mean more modest PCs can handle its territory invading action and in truth, there's not that much difference between the game's highest and lowest graphics presets. After all, those tiny troops and herds of city feeding cattle are more or less indistinguishable blobs, regardless of how much you zoom in. So if you and your trusted decade-old reg want to cozy up with international leaders or declare all-out war on the first diplomat you meet, Civ V's era-spanning RTS, which takes in everything from Roman conquests to an imagined steampunk future, is not to be missed. Contrary to what glacial afternoons with your fusty old science teacher taught you, fun times and physics aren't mortal enemies. Just ask Shell and her delightful reality-ripping portal gun. Whee! Originally launched in 2007 as part of Valve's masterful orange box, this beautifully bite-sized puzzler will give your grey matter a thrashing during its tougher test chambers. Yes, thanks to the ageing source engine, your PC should be able to KO Portal without hassle. The companion cube carrying, energy ball guiding, gravity defying adventures of test subject Shell and her unhinged supercomputer overseer have aged like the finest of wines. Well, a wine that makes you really good at science. Regardless of whether the cake is a lie or not, no amount of baking deception could spoil this phenomenal puzzler. The Enrichment Centre apologises for the inconvenience. Being a teenager is brilliant. You get to spend lazy afternoons blowing your pocket money on tuna and tails toys. You're free to while away the hours playing Space Harrier and hang on down the local arcade. And without the crushing pressures that come with gainful employment, you can commit yourself fully to tracking down your father's vicious killer. Hmm, maybe being a teen isn't so hot after all. What still scorches all these years later is Shenmue and its sequel. Playing young martial artist Ryu Hazuki in Sleepy Yokosuka in 1986, then later Hong Kong, you spend the majority of these remastered Dreamcast classics tracking down the exceedingly nasty Lan Di, Shenmue's answer to Darth Vader. Well, if the Sith Lord knew Kung Fu. 
These remasters smooth out performance issues, but both are still locked at 30 FPS, meaning they play relatively nice with older hardware. If you want the sort of baffling but brilliant adventure they just don't make anymore, these twin RPGs are filled with absurd poses, arm wrestling woes, and the chillest hot dog vendor in games. It'll perk you up, I bet. So there you go, 10 of the best, least demanding games you can enjoy on an older PC. Please like this video if your PC is getting on in years but you're still proud to play on it, and let us know in the comments if you think we've overlooked other great games that can run on older rigs. Oh, and we'd also appreciate it if you could subscribe to Logitech G before you inadvertently step into a lift with a hair-challenged assassin.